building and designing ambient ambient tracks you know ambient projects you know just the whole genre of designing an ambient song um, because there's nothing out there on it and uh, I have made this one just on just doing some research and trying to figure out how what what is involved in ambient and uh, I just want to show you guys what I've done and I'm kind of bringing this out there because I want to know more information on how to do this how to make the arrangements you know I, I think think the whole key with ambient is there's not really any arrangement it's just kind of just you know out there yeah <laughs> that's the only way i explain it so i'm gonna bring to the table what i've done and i my my hope is here that people will um bring in comments and say hey you know you could do this or you could do that so uh let's you know just let me start off and and just play what i have so far my processor's killing me right now anyways all right here it goes That's not fun. What happened there? That's the one thing about well, logic, you know, the processor always seems to get jacked, especially if you have an older computer like I do. Um, anyways, I'll try to do best I can here. All right, so one of the things that you know you can see here is there's like a lot of pads. Um, I've brought in uh, Omnisphere, and you can see I've, I've enhanced the I put an actual vocal plug-in on it and a channel EQ. The uh, other thing I've done here is, is you know, channel EQ. I um, have these set at kind of like a, a mid-range and these set at another mid-range and then this kind of set at a, a lower range. Um, and, you know, and here's the, the low, low range, the sub. And that doesn't kick in there. Um, I have a lot of delays some you know effects and then you know this this kind of like the droning background music i think that's typical of ambient and then um uh, let's go ahead and let's you know start off with the um the pads and i'll show you what i i did for the pads and you know we'll go ahead and put in you know this one here and you can see where it starts off right there Yeah. Nothing, nothing. It take a little bit 
there to kick in. All right, here it goes. Five different pads going on here and it's just really over the top as far as trying to you know get like a, a really warm sound in an ambient mix and uh, maybe I, w I went too much I don't know and that's see that's the thing I, there's there's nothing out there there's no books on how to write ambient music and, and so it's just you got to do it by experimentation so that's, that's kind of why I'm in this video and post it on YouTube. Hmm. Anyways, oh, okay, so that's the pads, and well, we can. I'll show you. Uh, what was another thing that I did here? That oh, here's another thing. If you see here, I have changed the actual tuning of my session to added 15.5 cents. It's basically what that has done is made it to 444 tuning. Uh, the standard is 440 and I upped it a little bit. One of the things I have done some research in ambient music is, is there's this following or I don't know theory that by changing the tuning to an old standard that used to be in like the 1890s and early 1900s you would get it was more beneficial to the the human spirit and the harmonic frequencies would actually work better and uh, harmonize with your own DNA yes I know it's deep so I decided to try it and I have to say I really like it so that is that and all the tracks are tuned. You can even see that I even went to Omnisphere and tuned it manually there. Um, and the uh, pianos. Uh, did I have any pianos? I don't think I have any pianos on this one. So, and then the audio files, they're probably not. I don't know if Logic actually tunes the audio files per se, but these are just drone audio files, so I don't really think it, it's going to matter much with the to interfere with the tuning because it's only you know 15.5 cents and, and you know what I mean um, I've also put in some delays you could see uh, custom delays here that I, I got in let's put that in there and there it goes nothing too big it's just kind of adds some ambiance to it You can also see on my I have it bust to an auto filter, tape delay, P verb, PT verb, and a compression and a low cut. You know, so and it just kinda carries and carries and carries and carries. So that's my, my delay. And then what else I can show you? show you this one uh, you, know, you know the intro I, I did a little bit different with the intro because I just you know ambient is you know sometimes I wanted to change it up a little bit so here's the uh, intro see if I can get the intro to play
probably another standard sample that you get in the Logic Audio Library, but I, I tweaked it a little bit. You can see I <laughs> put a lot of stuff on it. Um, I even got a tuner. What did I do the tuner for? Oh, I was just trying to get the general feel of what what tuning it was in. Um, it has spectral gate, Afix Vintage. That's the Waves plugin. It's basically it's a, a, a their their version of a tube amp, really. Um, and then what is this guy here? It's a vocal transformer. And what I've done here is I've changed the pitch of it, and I wanted it to actual match my um, my song. My song is in. My song is in E flat. Let me see if I remember that correctly. Yes, E flat. So, and so I've pitched it down until I actually got it to just sound to where it matches. And yeah, it says A2 there, but it's it's not really A2. It's really it's some different frequency. But it matches. It sounds it sounds alright. It doesn't mess up. So. You know, I do not have the best ears when listening to, to sound, so I try to do it the best I can. Um, that's it. So, that's the drone sound. Let me go ahead and put that with the ocean. So it kind of, kind of gives me a really nice, like, sound music. And then, you know, a lot of other things here. So, I want to make this video short. I'm not going to much in more detail. I'm going to go more detail. That's easy enough. If you guys really like this and you have a lot of questions on what I'm doing here, I'll, I'll go into more detail on how I'm creating these sounds. But you, know, you can see. It's, it's just a lot of pads, a lot of strings, a lot of effects. This is it. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, post a comment and I'll, I'll try to answer as much as I can. And uh, if you want more, yeah, I'll do another video on, on how some of these sounds are designed. Thank you. Bye.